Hi, it's Dave Robison with PlantCoverCrops.com. I'm in the uh, Ottumwa, Iowa area, uh, and it's uh, sometime here in uh, January 2014. And I'm on my way home from a conference, and uh, for all the good work that's been talked about in cover crops here in Iowa, I uh, just want to look at all this black snow. This is coming off of some um, uh, soybean uh, fodder and uh, off a field, and uh, the soybean uh, stubble is still out in the field, but we've got so much black snow. It certainly appears that maybe there was some uh, uh, nitrogen already put on the soybean on this soybean field for next year's corn crop, but uh, just. <laughs> Again, just a, a lot of need for cover crops here in the uh, Midwest. This black snow means we've got nutrients off site. That means we have soil leaving the field. Uh, we've actually got soil into uh, the drainage ditch. And uh, it's just, to me, this is just really like saying, come on guys, let's get it together. It's not that we don't have opportunity uh, to get cover crops established out here even if it would have been some cereal rye or something in that order, just to be able to get some ground cover so we stop this black snow syndrome. Uh, here we are, we've got a uh, drainage ditch right down here underneath the road and up here as well. Just a whole lot of, of uh, soil and nutrient loss off this field. So again, Dave Robison, plantcovercrops.com. Uh, I think it's the uh, 17th or 18th, whatever the Saturday is. Uh, of this week here in 2014 January.